Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new interesting geometry map problem. That is, we have given a semicircle. There are given two perpendiculars to the diameter of this semicircle. The smaller has length of two units and the larger one has the length of four units. And the distance between these two perpendiculars are six units. We have to find out the area of this semicircle. How can we solve this math problem? As we know that the area of a circle is pi r square. So the area of this semicircle will be half of pi r square. So first we will write the formula to find out the area of this semicircle. That is area of a semicircle is half phi r square. So let us suppose this is our equation number star. Here we have to find out the value of this r square. Now to find out the value of this r square here we will connect. Let us suppose this is our center. So we will connect this center with this one point and this one point to make two right angle triangles here. So let us connect this point with the given two points. Now after connecting this point with this and this one look at here there are two right angle triangles. Let us suppose this is our first right angle triangle and this is our second right angle triangle. Now look into this one triangle here, the perpendicular is given. Now since this is the radius of the semicircle, so this side will be r. This side will be also r. Now let us suppose this length is, is equal to x. So what will be this one? Now as this length from this perpendicular to this perpendicular is 6 units. So this length will be 6 minus x units. Therefore this will be 6 minus x units. Now we will try to find out the value of r using the Pythagoras theorem. Now, as we know that Pythagoras theorem states that hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Now first we will find out the value of r using this first one triangle. So as we know that Pythagoras theorem states that hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. Here in our triangle number first, our hypotenuse is r units, perpendicular r2 units and base is x units. Let's substitute these values here. So this will become r square is equal to perpendicular is 2. So this will become 2 square plus base is x. So this will become x square. So let us suppose this is our equation number first. Now come to triangle number second. Here our hypotenuse is r perpendicular is 4 units and base is 6 minus x units. So this will become r square is equal to here perpendicular is 4. So this will become 4 square plus the base is x 6 minus x whole square. Now let us suppose this is our equation number second. Now look at to both the equations. Both the equation has the same left hand side. So we will compare and take equal the right hand sides. So this will become, this implies, this will become 2 square plus x square is equal to 4 square plus 6 minus x whole square. And let's simplify and solve this equation for the value of x. So this will become 4 plus x square is equal to 4 square simply 16 plus now we will expand this one term using a minus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 times ab. So this will become 6 square plus x square minus 2 times 6 times x. Now 2 times 6 is 12. This will become 12x. Now there is x square in both sides so we can cancel them with each other. And there is negative 12x so here we will move this negative 12x to the left hand side. So this will become positive 12x plus 4 is equal to 16 plus 6 square is simply 36. So further this is 12x plus 4. Let us add these two numbers. So 6 plus 6 is 12. 2 1 will be carried. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. This is 52. Here we will move this 4 to the right hand side. So this will become 12x is equal to 52 minus 4 is simply 48. We will divide both sides by 12. So 
So here this 12 and this will cancel and 12 times 1 is 12 20 times 4 is 48. So here the value of x will be 4 units. So here this is the value of x. Now we will substitute this value of x in any equation here to find out the value of r square. So we will substitute the value of x in equation number first. So equation number first will become this implies r square is equal to 2 square plus x square. So the value of r square will become 2 square is simply 4 plus x is 4. So this will become 4 square. r square is equal to 4 plus 4 square is simply 16. So r square is equal to 16 plus 4 is 20. So this is 20. Now we substitute this value of r square in equation number star to find out the value of this semicircle. I'll just substitute this value here. So this will become half times 5 r square. Now value of r square is simply 20 units. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 10 is 20. So this will become 10 5 units square. Now here we can substitute the value of 5 as 10 times the value of 5 up to 2 decimal places above 3.14 units square. So to simplify these two numbers, so this will become 31.4 units square. So therefore the area of this semicircle will be 31.4 units square. So finally we can write the area of this semicircle as 31.4 units square.